hello everyone and welcome back so in the previous videos we saw was the introduction and how to solve linear equations using the kramer's rule graphical method along with some word problems if you haven't found, haven't seen these videos yet the link is in the description box you can see it so in today's video we will see an important part of this chapter that is word problems now many people find word problems difficult but if you understand the exact concept of board problems how to solve it it will become easier to solve so let us start so we have a question over here so let us first read the question so a board travels 16 kilometers upstream and 24 kilometers downstream in 6 hours the same board travels 36 kilometers upstream and 48 kilometers downstream in 13 hours find the speed of water current and speed of boat in still water now by seeing and reading this question what we understand is that there is a boat and when the boat travels 16 kilometers upstream and 24 kilometers downstream it takes 6 uh, hours to complete the destination and when the same boat travels 36 kilometers upstream and 48 kilometers downstream it takes 13 hours to complete the destination and we are supposed to find the speed of water current and the speed of boat in still water now since it is uh, clearly given that we have to find the speed of water current and boat so we will take the speed of boat in still water to be as x kilometers since it is speed and the speed of water current we will take it as y kilometers now it is very important that you should understand what is upstream and what is downstream so a uh, stream is nothing but a uh, river so whenever your river is going in the upwards direction it is called as uh, upstream and whenever your river is flowing in the downward direction it is considered as downward or uh, downstream so we will take the speed of boat in downstream to be x plus y and the speed of boat in the upstream to be x minus y now why am i taking x plus y and x minus y so we know that downstream means when your stream is flowing in the downward direction since your uh, stream is flowing in the downward direction and you are also moving in the downward direction it will become easier for you to travel that is you can take an example of a slide whenever we want to use a slide we uh, slide from the top to bottom and we slide easily very smoothly but in the same scenario if you want to go in the slide from bottom to top you will require more energy more efforts will be required for you to uh, go from the bottom to top so that is the same concept which is applied over here when uh, you can take an example of niagara falls so in niagara falls the water is flowing from top to bottom so whenever you want to go from the top to bottom that is uh, in the direction of the stream you can easily flow but if you are going in the reverse direction that is from bottom to top so you are in the opposite direction of the stream so it will become difficult for you to go from the bottom to top you will require more energy and uh, more speed will be required to go from the bottom to top so when you are going in downstream it means that uh, the speed of the boat will be same but uh, when you are going in downstream the river is automatically taking you will not require more speed you will not require more energy so that is why we are adding the speed of uh, boat in still water and speed of water in current uh, speed of water current when you are going upstream you are subtracting it because you will require more speed to go from bottom to top so this is the basic concept of uh, downstream and upstream and this is the main concept of your boat problems so i hope you all have understood this now you can see that we are supposed to find the speed and we are given the distance that is kilometers and we are given the time so since we have the distance and we have the time and we want to find the speed so obviously we will be requiring this formula that is speed is equals to distance upon time which can be edited as time is equals to distance upon speed okay so now we will move ahead and you can see time taken by the boat to travel 16 kilometers upstream will be 16 upon x minus y now how is this 16 upon x minus y so we know that 
the distance is what the distance is 16 kilometers and the speed is what x plus y this is a downstream and uh, in upstream it is x minus y so the distance of upstream is 16 and the speed is what x minus y so according to this formula distance is what 16 and speed is what x minus y so we get upstream as 16 upon x minus y similarly for downstream what is the distance the distance is 24 kilometers so our distance is 24 kilometers and our speed is what x plus y so what we get 24 upon x plus y so our first condition was what 16 kilometers upstream and 24 kilometers downstream will give us 6 hours so 16 upon x minus y plus 24 upon x plus y will be equal to 6 and 36 kilometers upstream and 48 kilometers downstream will give us 13 hours so we have 36 upon x minus y plus 48 upon x plus y which is equal to 13 now you can see that these two equations when you see these two equations you will say that these two equations are not linear equations but we can convert them into linear equations by assuming 1 upon x minus y as a and 1 upon x plus y as b so what we are doing is we are substituting a as 1 upon x minus y and b as 1 upon x plus y so what we get 16a plus 24b which is equal to 6 this will be our third equation and 36a plus 48b which is equal to 13 this will be our fourth equation now what we have to do is we have to make the coefficients of either a or either either b as same now you will say that this equation we can divide it by 2 throughout but there is no use of dividing this equation by 2 because if we divide this equation by 2 we are going to get this equation but still the coefficients of a or b are not same so what you can do is you can uh, multiply this equation by 2 so 24 2s are what 48 or if you have reduced this equation you will have to multiply this equation by 3 because 12 or uh, sorry by 4 because 12 fours are 48 so you will get your 48 so i will be multiplying the third equation by 2 because i don't want to increase my steps okay so i will multiply my equation 3 by 2 and subtract it with equation 4 so what i get is 32a plus 48b which is equal to 12 and minus 36a minus 48b which is equal to minus 13 so 48 48 will get cancelled 32 minus 36 is minus 4 12 minus 13 is minus 1 so we get a as 1 by 4 minus minus will get cancelled so we will substitute this a in equation 3 so we get 16a plus 24b which is 6 so in place of a we get 1 by 4 plus 24b is equal to 6 so 4 4s are 16 so we will cut this we get 4 over here so we get 24b which is equal to 6 minus 4 4 will come over here so we get the 6 minus 4 as 2 so we have b as 2 upon 24 and we know that 2 1s are 2 and 2 12s are 24 so we get 1 upon 12 so our a is 1 by 4 and b is 1 by 12 now if you remember we had substituted 1 upon x minus y as a and 1 upon x plus y as b so we have, uh, we got the values of a and b so what we have to do now is we have to substitute the value of a and b so we have 1 upon x minus y and our a is what 1 by 4 so we have this as 1 by 4 so we will cross multiply so 4 will go to the left and x minus y will go to the right so we get 4 is equals to x minus y that is equals to x minus y is equals to 4 this will be our fifth equation and similarly for 1 upon x plus y as b we have our b as 1 by 12 so 12 will go to the left hand side x plus y will come to the right hand side so we have 12 is equals to x plus y which is x plus y as 12 now since in the start we had taken our x to be the speed of boat in still water and y as the speed of current water so we have to find the value of x and y so now we have the equations in term of x and y so now we can find the solve these two equations simultaneously to get the answer so we will add these two equations so when we add these two equations we get what x minus y is equal to 4 x plus y is equal to 12 y y will get cancelled x plus x is 2x 4 plus 12 is 16 and our x is equal to 8 and we will substitute this x is equal to 8 in equation 5 which is x minus y is equal to 4 
so our x is what 8 8 minus y is equals to 4 y will go over there 4 will come over here so y is 8 minus 4 so our y is 4 so what we got we got our x is 8 and our y is 4 and since we had taken the speed of boat in still water as x and the speed of water current as y so our speed of boat in still water is 8 kilometers and the speed of water current is 4 kilometers so now we have solved one question based on boat problems and i hope now everyone must be finding boat problems easier to solve at least you must have understand what is the concept of boat problems so if you try and you practice little for boat problems you will understand and then you can solve these boat problems easily now boat problems is uh, very important with respect to your uh, boats because uh, every year boat problems are asked in question and they carry the maximum marks so you have to learn this and this is scoring also if you understand this concept you can easily score good marks so this was the last video on linear equations and with this video we have completed the chapter also so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section so that is it for today's video thank you